Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Today we're looking at the beautiful Car K9. This is the gun that started it all. Let's take a few shots. There it is, I love the Car K9. All steel frame, it's a bit heavier obviously than the Palmer frame guns, but it has the same characteristics. Very thin, 0.9 inches wide with the slide, same trigger pull that breaks between six and a half and seven pounds. It's a double action only. But this is the gun that started it all. It didn't look like this. This has a beautiful matte finish on the stainless steel, but it's very tight, extremely tight. If you check that out, there's no movement at all. And that's something that Car Arms is known for. That is very tight handguns and also has a tight recoil spring, but that keeps the muzzle rise to a minimum. And I, I just hold this gun in high esteem. I've had it for about three years now. It's got Trigicon three dot night sights, a beautiful look and finish with a rubber grip. And this is part of the car premium series, which means that every part on this is made from bar stock steel. 3.5 inch polygonal rifled barrel. Man, what a nice shooter. I love the car K9. This would be one of the more expensive models. It's, um, you know, over 700 bucks, but look what you're getting. A steel frame car handgun that is amazing. Now what I have here is an eight round magazine. This came from the ST9, which holds eight rounds, but all the car models, uh, caliber consistent, use the same magazine. So although this one, uh, you know, sticks down a little bit, doesn't have a spacer in there. That's because I took it out of another one. Although this does come with two seven round and an eight round magazine. Let's see how it does again. Huge fan. Love it. It's a beautiful gun. Let's go ahead and load these up and we'll fire it some more. One of the reasons why so many people love car handguns is because they are small, thin, and lightweight. This with the all steel model weighs, with seven rounds loaded, 28 and a half ounces. So many people carry them. I've done it for years. But I wanna fire it some more and see if I can roll through this a little quick. All right. One of the things that I like about this K9 is some of that laser engraving. I'm not sure if that'll be able to pick it up, but if we look at the dynamics of this handgun, you may understand a little more why I love it. Now, the one thing I may do, I'm thinking about doing this, is getting some G10 grips. Just to give it a little bit more flavor, I think it'll bring out that matte finish stainless steel a little bit more. But it's a, it's a high-end car model, and I, I just think it's pretty outstanding. Developed in 1996, by the way. That's, you know, when it, the, the whole company began. I guess that's the way to say it. And then they just celebrated last year their 25th year anniversary, and they came out with a new model of the K9 that is stunning. I mentioned that the heavy recoil spring keeps the muzzle rise to a minimum. Let's go ahead and check that out and you can see what I mean. A very flat shooting pistol. So there it is, the Car K9. 
I had to break this out of the safe and thought that you guys may enjoy taking a closer look at it as well as how much I wanted to enjoy bringing this back to the range. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.